All right, here with head coach Julie Plant following the Hawks 66-65 win against 14th ranked Stonehill. Don't really know where to begin. First of all, congratulations, and then you know, kind of to hang with them all game, get down five late, seemed almost improbable, and then you know, huge three from Candice. You're back in it. Made some calls down the stretch, and you know, they pulled it out. Kind of just talk about the effort, just how proud of the kids you are. Yeah, I mean. We did well in the first half. I thought defensively we did even better in the second half. Um, it was a really good team effort of defending the scout. Um, we mixed it up a little bit defensively. We played a little zone, a little man, trapped them in a couple situations, and I thought it, it uh, frustrated them a little bit. Um, and then our, our kids just stepped up and made huge offensive plays down the stretch, Candace, with that three. And, and made with a couple big threes. Um, our post play was strong, Tori and Allie um, using our high lows and then Bree with a couple isolation plays. I mean, it, w it was a total team effort. I think every one of our starters was in double figures. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of every time Stonehill went on a run, we just countered it. We came back and, and continued to be aggressive, so it was so great to see. They, they responded so well. Talk about that final, not the final play, but the, the game winner for you guys to Bree. Was that, do you draw that up or how, you know, kind of just talk about that final play. Yeah, we drew that up for her. Um, it's one of our kind of late game plays for a, for a two. We just wanted to get Bree uh, in the middle of the floor with the ball where she could go one-on-one -on -one against the player and then make a decision. She's a really good decision maker. She's really good with the ball, driving to the basket, using an up-and-under move. Um, so if she wasn't going to take the shot, she would have found an open teammate, but she had a really good situation. And she's, uh, you know, a smart enough player where she, she knows how to create contact and still make baskets. So I think if, if the shot hadn't gone in, I think they would have called the foul. I really do. The kid was right on her. So it was a, a great decision-making play by Bree with the ball in her hand. So great senior play. Well, let's go back to the three from Candice. Started out, I thought, playing really well. Kind of faded a little bit. I think near the end, when you guys stole it and then she turned it over, I think you had said to her, next play, you know, you guys got the stop. She comes down and buries the three. Just talk about, you know, from a freshman, I think she could have easily gotten down there and just kind of didn't and came up with a huge shot. Yeah, she responded so well. And she was a little bit frustrated with herself for letting, uh, I think it was Pelletier, hit that three right in her face. She wasn't quite out on her enough. But she responded positively. I think what's one thing that our team's really worked hard at is make the next play, regardless if you make a mistake. So we kind of had a broken play on that la on that possession where she hit the three. We called the play. It it's a screening play for three threes, and and she got open and, and was smart enough to take the shot. She was open, and you know she's such a talented player, and she's she's a gamer. I mean, she can hit big shots. She had a big shot against Assumption to win our win the game. So. I was completely confident we were taking that shot, and, and she had another big shot. And lastly, let's talk about Allie Jones. I thought had a great first half. You guys really seemed to make a kind of concerted effort to pound it into her. Got away from her a little bit in the second half. I think she only went one for two in the second half, but I thought just kind of a game changer for you guys in the first half. Yeah, I think Allie did a really good job taking advantage of Stonehill's lack of size kind of from their four. Um, we're tough to match up with when we play Allie and Tori together. Um, so we took the big player away from the basket and tried to pound the ball down into Allie with a smaller defender on her. She did a really good job staying composed, uh, catching the ball, strong with two hands, and then and finishing right hand and right on the right hand left side of the basket. So, you know, she she really gave us a lot of momentum going into halftime. We'll let you go enjoy this one. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, here with senior Bree Jones, 15 points, five rebounds. More importantly, probably the game-winning shot. You know, kind of just, you know, we'd already talked to Coach, he said it was drawn up. Kind of talk about your mindset heading into the play and then kind of just walk us through it quickly. Well, when she said the ball was coming to me, I was surprised because she had said a play call at first that normally goes to a shooter. Um, so that's what I was expecting. But um, as soon as she said it, I just kind of knew that I had to relax as soon as the ball got to my hands and just see what my options were. Um, as I was driving, I saw uh, Tori Bayetta, who's and she was right in the lane, so that was nerve-wracking, of course, because um, she's a big presence in there, too. So it was just getting what I could. Um, when the shot went up, I didn't know it was going to go in, but when it did, I was, of course, very excited. You, was there contact on that? Did you get hit? No, not at all. She went straight up, which was even more nerve-wracking because she's 6'2", so, um, but no contact at all. And then just talk about, you know, a win like this for your team, obviously coming off the, you know, tough loss up at Franklin Pierce. 
kind of turning around with this one, first uh, nationally ranked, first winning against a nationally ranked opponent in two years, you know, just kind of talk about what this does for you guys. Yeah, Frankly, this is definitely a tough one, so we needed this one before the break. Um, and Silver was a great team. I mean, we knew that they were nationally ranked. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough game from the beginning. But I think it's awesome that we played together as a team. We communicated. In the first half, we kind of struggled a little bit on defense. But we definitely talked about that half time, you know, following the scout, focusing on their strengths and weaknesses. And I think we really focused on that in the second half, and that kind of pulled us out at the end. Um, we had a 10 point lead. And we're notorious for allowing teams back in the game, so we could have easily let it slip by, but I think we definitely held our own towards the end. But it's great, it's great feeling. Um, they're a great team, so just to pull that out on them, we haven't been so high thinking it's been about a year or two now, so that was a good one for us, definitely. All right, here with senior forward Allie Jones. Kind of just talk about that win. Obviously, huge. Yes. You know, as a, as a senior, I think you, the only thing you can probably compare it to is you know when you guys knocked off Assumption here two years ago when they were nationally ranked. Kind of just talk about the atmosphere and just how big of a win that oh, is for you guys. Such a big win, and it was just such a team team win. Our coaches said like every time they, they pulled ahead by a few, we just came back, pulled together, never let like a big three get to us. We all just came together as a team, we really worked hard, and we kept attacking. So, and it just it feels so great. And talk about yourself individually: 12 points, eight boards, three assists. I thought the team really just kind of made a concerted effort to kind of pound it into yeah. you early and you just seemed to finish yeah. everything they threw at you. We definitely had a height advantage. We were trying to use that in the second half. They were um, helping in a lot and everyone else kept stepping up. Um, just a great win all around. Um, so exciting.